What's up, Mana Church? We are back together for day six of this week's Morning Mana. We have covered a lot of ground over the last five days in terms of all the fun facts about our Heavenly Father. And today is all about the Father's faithfulness. There are multiple angles to look at his faithfulness, one of which is that he is true to his word and promises in our lives. Another side of this is his faithfulness in his presence. His presence in our lives is so important. When I think about this characteristic, I think about Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, which says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. You know, looking at the context within which we see his faithfulness in Deuteronomy 31, the Israelites are about to cross the Jordan and enter into the land God promised them. This final leg of their journey would no doubt be a giant step and I'm sure there is some fear, uncertainty, and, and some apprehension. But Moses is telling them that because God is going with them, they have no reason to fear or really have any apprehension about what is to come. This part of the story is so amazing because in verse 6, Moses is addressing the whole of Israel. But then in verses 7 and 8, he says the same thing directly to Joshua right after that. So what I'm seeing in this passage is that the command and the Father's faithfulness are on a corporate level, but more importantly, on a personal level. It is so amazing that God wants to meet, meet us on that level, that one-on-one -on -one level. It is just absolutely, I just absolutely love this about the Father. This verse makes me think of when a kid is playing on a playground, is, is they're maybe, maybe about to tackle the monkey bars or something like that, and they might be a little hesitant to do it, but then they look over and see one of their parents to see if maybe they'll watch over them as they attempt what seems to be impossible to them. Once they see that they have the attention of their parent, they are ready to take on the challenge. This is so cool. You know, I see two sides of this circumstance as it plays out. The first is the shared excitement and the success of that situation, or there is a possibility of shared grief if things don't work out according to plan. Either way, the faithfulness of that parent's presence is what gets the kids through. That is the faithfulness that God provides. There is a sense of empowerment I receive when I know his presence is with me. We can be sure that he will always be there for us, not just walking alongside us, but also cheering us on and ready to celebrate our victories or comfort us in our pain. You know, maybe you're about to launch a new chapter in your life. Maybe it is a new career opportunity or a new relationship, or maybe you just stepped into a painful situation. Whatever it is, you can be sure, assured or be strong and courageous that our Father will be with you every step of the way. Well, man, church, I have enjoyed our time together so much this week. I hope you have been blessed by it. See you next time. God bless.